Jedi Knight Luke, the event is finally here that we have waited years for, and now we here at RSG are here to bring you the guide on how to complete this event. Now, besides all the requirements that are needed, we are going to go through each of the individual tiers so you can see what you need to do in each of them in order to beat them. Now, there is some RNG involved depending on what your gear level is, but down below in the description, you will find a timestamp for each of the different tiers. So if there is a tier that you are stuck on, go to the timestamps down below to help you get to the specific spot where we are trying to help you. And with that, let's go ahead and get into this. Hey everyone, Finity from Reality Skewed Gamers here to bring you a mod guide and a, just a general tutorial on the Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker event. Now, I did call this a mod guide because largely this is going to be reliant on your mods. There is some strategy as well, and we are going to talk about it. Each tier is a little bit different than the next, but the cool thing is they did a really good job on building this as the storyline of Luke. So let's go ahead and jump into it and first talk about the tier one. Now, in the tier one, you are going to be playing as the Wampa, and the Wampa is going to go up and try to capture the Commander Luke Skywalker. Now, what you will see in this event is that the Commander Luke Skywalker is listed as a Commander Luke Skywalker Hoth character. Now, everything about this character is going to be the same as CLS. Now, this is going to be important when we get to tier two, but just recall that this is basically the Commander Luke Skywalker that you know in your roster just reskinned. So for this one, you're going to be looking at your Wampa. Now, besides the fact that he needs a minimum of Relic 3 to even participate, just like the rest of the characters in this uh, event, for this Wampa, we would recommend that you basically try to keep Wampa as survival as possible. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, this event, you're just going one-on-one -on -one with CLS. Wampa has the added benefit of, over time, being able to power up. So your goal with this Wampa is to try to just survive the phase. Don't let Commander Luke Skywalker kill you early. So for that, you want to focus heavily on health. Get that protection up to give you as much of a bonus as possible. Plus, you might want to also think about getting out some burst damage. So some damage with some critical damage triangle, all will be extremely useful. The other thing that can help, put the Zeta on the Cornered Beast. You want the ability of Wampa to counterattack as much as possible against Luke. Get in as many hits of that damage as you can. Start bringing down his health and protection to whatever you're able to until Wampa powers up. And of course, he gets in your Womp. We now get into Tier 2. Now in Tier 2, you are now playing against the, the Wampa as CLS. So this is the point where you have escaped, you are no longer stuck, you recover your lightsaber, and you are trying to make your way past the Wampa. Now what you will see here, as I mentioned in Tier 1, your Commander Luke is a Commander Luke Skywalker Hoth. But everything about this character is going to be the same as your CLS, including the modding. So when you're looking at modding, you mod your CLS, and this event unit will take on those mods. Now for this one, you are looking to try and beat the Wampa. Certain things that you want to focus on for your CLS. You're going to want him to be pretty high damage as well as potency. Now what we found is that the Wampa really was not able to be stunned. What we saw is that you could remove his turn meter, but he was not really stunnable. So you do want the potency in order to remove that turn meter. Now the CLS we used did have two Zetas, the one on the leader, and it binds all things. Both we think are going to be very helpful, not just for this event, but also your general use of Commander Luke Skywalker in things like TW and GAC. So we would recommend those two Zetas as well as modding towards damage. That then moves us on to Tier 3. Three. Now, in Tier 3, you are going to be controlling your first group of characters. This is going to include Rebel Officer Leia Organa, Captain Han Solo, Chewbacca, and C-3PO. Now, these are your four characters that you're going to be relying on, and each one is going to have a slightly different modding because of their purpose in this phase. Chewie is going to be your primary da damage dealer. Not only is he going to deal damage on his turn, but depending on where the guard is placed, 
he is also going to deal damage on somebody else's turn. So Chewie having a lot of damage is going to be one of the keys to this. You want him to be very, very hard hitting. Rolo also has a lot of damage, whether it's her AoE that hits multiple targets or just her single target that can start recovering some of the turn meter. She is a really good character to also mod with some damage. Now, she is also going to need some speed. So Rolo, we are going to mod more towards speed and for damage. When we look now at Captain Han Solo and, and C-3PO, we are going to end up trying to mod them more towards survival and speed. You do want them to be somewhat fast, but their survival is more important than anything else. They are not huge damage dealers. They are more for support. Captain Han Solo with the ability to res with C-3PO with all of his translations and his buffing. He is going to be important just to get fast, but also to make sure that he can survive. The combination of these four can work out really well, but Guard is going to be important. And we would recommend that Guard either land on Rolo or Captain Han Solo. Depending on where you are, it might be difficult to pull the Guard off of Rolo onto Captain Han Solo, just simply because of how you need to mod them, with Rolo being more speed and damage, with Captain Han being more tanky and fast. So because of that, if the guard falls on Rolo, that is perfectly fine. We did it this way as well. And just recall that there is a little bit of order on how you want to go through the waves. In wave one, you're going to want to try and kill the ops before the other ones if you can prevent him from stealthing. He is a dangerous character, but if you can prevent him from stealthing, he can go down fairly quickly. So he should be the first target, assuming you can prevent him from actually going into stealth. Now, after that, I would kill everything else besides the commander. If you guys are not familiar with the commander, the commander will force a taunt on another character whenever he loses his protection. And usually that character is going to be the one that has the highest survival left, most health and protection. So if you try to attack him too early, he's going to force a taunt on someone else and you're just going to start distributing that damage. You want to make sure you try to focus fire as much as possible, which comes into play in wave two. But in wave one, Try to kill the other things like the damage dealers, like the snow troopers. Then you can go through the, the storm troopers and then eventually get to the commander. Commander does not have to be done early. Once you are done with wave one, this one now progresses into wave two. And in the back, you will see Vader just standing there. Vader has a 20 turn cooldown on his buff. As soon as that goes down, he then participates in the match. And when he participates, he goes nuts and does a bunch of attacks right off the bat, and it is not going to be pleasant. So your goal is to try and end this before Vader gets out of that stun buff thing that he has. So for that, what happens is that that countdown goes down every time one of his allies takes a actual turn. Not counterattacking or anything like that, just simply when they get to their turn. So the less turns that they have, the slower that countdown progresses. And so in this wave, you do want to focus fire as much as possible to get down those enemies. The first one you're going to want to target is the Stormtrooper. Now, it's different from then wave one. In this wave, you do want to target the Stormtrooper. And the reason is fairly simple. If he taunts in between your turns, you are then going to end up distributing your damage over multiple targets until you can get that taunt off. And you don't want that. The goal in this wave is to just try and eliminate character after character one by one to try and make sure that that countdown does not hit zero. So you start out with the Stormtrooper, kill him. Then if you can focus on Veers so you don't get the all Imperial Assault that he can provide. And then you try to clear them out one by one afterwards. So that is a strategy for wave two and that should get you through tier three. Tier 4 is an interesting one. Tier 4 is going to be your ship's battle. And this one only has really two requirements, which is the Wedge being 7 stars and the Hans Millennium Falcon being 7 stars. You also need a capital ship, but you're not even using the capital ship. You are using a Hoth transport that is for some reason commanded by Hoth Rebel Soldier. Ignoring that aside for a little bit, which threw me off when we first did this, more important is going to be that most of you have not really spent a lot of resources on Wedge. And the strategy we're going to tell you will allow you to not really spend a lot of resources on Wedge. There is a strategy to this, and it is important that you kind of focus on this. 
it's going to focus more on the Hans Millennium Falcon being your main damage dealer. So the higher to max that you can get that, the better. You will also get provided a third ship as part of your lineup, which is going to be the Rebel Y-Wing. So you will have this transport, which is kind of a pseudo capital ship. It's not really going to be useful. You're going to then have your Rebel Y-Wing, your Wedge, and then your Hans Millennium Falcon. The goal of this wave is to try and just burn through time until your Wedge and your Rebel Y-Wing can land and then your Hans Falcon can take off into hyperdrive. But you have to try to wade, wade through all of the damage that they're going to provide. So most important for this is going to be first do not do the wiggle with hans millennium falcon now i know that's the most common one because then hans millennium falcon can't get targeted but keep in mind you have a weak ship on your lineup potentially with the wedges x-wing so you don't want to do the wiggle with hans millennium falcon just to make sure that if the rebel y-wing loses his taunt that you have somebody else that can help mitigate the damage away from wedge the other part of this too, target the TIE Bomber first. You're going to have three ships starting out, which is the TIE Bomber, the Imperial TIE Fighter, and Vader's TIE Advance. Vader's TIE Advance is going to be the last ship that you even target because it's just not going to go down. So you're going to target the TIE Bomber and kill that as quickly as possible, and then you can move on to the TIE Fighters. But again, all of this is to just buy time until you can use the special ability on the Rebel Y-Wing and the Wedge X-Wing to get them onto the transport and then you hyperdrive with your Hans Millennium Falcon and you don't even really have to worry about Wedge too much. Do make sure that you do have some good mods on him even though you may not gear him so that he can survive and try to max out your Hans Millennium Falcon as much as you can. Tier 5 is going to be you using your CLS along with Hermit Yoda. Now both of these are going to be fairly simple in terms of the modding. The CLS is going to have the same modding that you had back when he fought the Wampa. So you're keeping that same kind of damage focus on your CLS in order to get through this wave. Hermit Yoda, you're going to do what you normally do with those of you that use Hermit Yoda, which is going to be some speed, a little bit of survival, because all he needs to do is get those heals off and pop on his master's training to CLS. In wave one, you are going to try and want to kill the Imperial officer first. The officer actually does a fair bit of damage if you let him go too long, so he is a good target for your first kill. The rest of them will all fall through, and then you get to the second wave. In the second wave, Hermit Yoda will leave, and you will be down to CLS versus Vader, but your modding of CLS should get you through this without any issue. Tier 6 is going to be your most difficult tier of all of them. This one is going to be somewhat reliant on RNG, but there is things you can do with modding in order to help yourself out. Now, this one is also going to be kind of a group scenario fight. You are going to have Rolo. Once again, you are going to have Lando Calrissian, the mustache man himself, and you're going to have a new event character. And the new event character is Chewie, holding 3PO on his back. Now, this character is going to take some of the stats from 3PO and Chewie. But it is important to realize that this character has some different abilities. So the abilities are not going to be quite the same, but there is some stuff that is going to be similar. Meanwhile, you do have to make sure you mod Chewie and 3PO different since these abilities are different. So Rolo, we're going to continue the same modding that we talked about in the third tier which is that she is going to want damage and speed. Lando, you're going to want to go all out in damage as much as you can, max out that crit damage, max out that offense, and throw on some critical chance if you can to get Lando going and dealing as much damage as you can. And a shout out to Urban Blaster, Lando's going to be out there to rain some blood on those fools. And then we have Chewie, or the 3PO and Chewie character. This character is going to take some of the stats from the base characters of 3PO and Chewie. In particular, Chewbacca is going to be the main one. So what we did and what we would recommend you guys to do is to make sure that both 3PO and Chewie have a crit avoidance arrow. That would be the first thing so that we're trying to stack as much crit avoidance on them so that they survive. The other thing is they are going to need a lot of potency. The reason for the potency is because they have the ability to land blind on the characters. 
And when you get to the second wave and face Boba Fett, you are going to need that blind to land as much as possible for your survival. That Boba Fett does a lot of damage. It is going to be RNG to see how much of that blind you can get to land, but the higher the potency of your character, the better your chance of blind and the better the chance of your survival. Now, for those of you not familiar with what blind is, blind is a debuff that makes it so that whoever the target is for that character is going to have basically 99,000% chance to dodge. So basically, they miss their next attack. So it is important to try and get that blind on as many characters as possible, and in particular, Boba Fett. This is, again, the RNG tier of the entire event. So once you get through this, there's still some difficulty up ahead. You should have a better chance of completing your Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker after you complete Tier 6. Tier 7 is going to be your CLS against Vader in the epic struggle that we all know. Now, CLS, again, for this one, does not have to change any of the modding. CLS can be modded in the exact same way where he is going to be focusing a lot on potency, although he's really not removing the turn meter from Vader. The Vader is double zeta But your goal is to just try and do as much damage as possible. So you're just tacking on that damage against Vader. Now, one of the key things to remember here, he does have three objects next to him. You can focus on the Vader for your attacks, but try to use as much of your abilities to keep his protection as maxed out as you can so that when Vader chucks those debris at you and you get hit with the ye old magical box that your CLS can survive. So the survival of your CLS is going to be important in this, but after that it's just straight out damage on the opposing Vader. In the last tier, tier 8 of this event, you are going to be the Vader, you are going to be fighting against CLS. Now, what you do in this phase is going to be slightly different than the others. While there is some survival aspects to this, while there is potency, this one is going to be somewhat difficult because there is a lot of survival in the CLS compared to Vader. So for Vader, what's going to be important is trying to get as many turns in as possible. So while potency and survival are important, the other part to remember is this Vader needs speed. So the way this is going to work is you are going to try and rely on the dots staying on Vader. So we would recommend the Zeta on his leader ability and then just continually going after CLS as much as possible. It is going to be a little bit of a grind, but your Vader can hopefully survive this. May take you a few attempts, not nearly as much as tier 6, but this RNG can be kind of mitigated by proper modding with a lot of potency and a lot of speed, getting your Vader to go more quickly using those saber throws when you can to deal that burst damage and then continuing to stack up that damage with the dots. Remember, the saber throw does damage based on the number of debuffs that are removed. So the more dots that you have on him, the better. And with his leader ability with the Zeta, he will not drop the debuffs. The debuffs will remove with the saber throw and come right back. So that is what you're going to rely on for this phase. And once you complete this, you will be able to unlock Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker. So I hope this helps you guys all get through the event and I hope it all works out for you. Make sure you leave comments down below on how this helped you and if you guys have any questions but also check out our discord which is linked in the description if you do have any questions and then we will see you on the next video. Take care guys.